Don't overpay for Champions Path. Just don't do it. What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are talking all about Champion's Path. Uh, originally, I was going to stick this into a Pokemon video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of those, and I really wanted to, but then the more talking points, you know, kept kept bubbling up, and all of a sudden this became big enough for its own video. So we're going to talk entirely about Champion's Path, and the main point is the TLDR is don't overpay for it. Obviously, there is so much hype. Uh, it's 100% true that the demand or the supply cannot satisfy the demand right now and as a result you see listings on like online stores on eBay for the ETBs for $75 per pop and I feel like my point here is don't overpay I don't think it's necessary to pay more than MSRP MSRP for ETB is 50 by the way and uh, yeah we're gonna talk about all about that today the first point is this product comes out in waves and I'm not talking about how the ETBs, like there's a wave one in uh, September and one, whether October or November, I can't remember, is that there are multiple products for this set. And so quick reminder, end of September, we have three products, the double, uh, some of the gym pins, and then of course the Charizard ETB. And then early October, we have more pin collections, a couple other stuff. Um, the Hatterney and the Marnie. One weird thing about the Marnie is I feel like that one is overpriced. Uh, I think it's it's greater than $5 per pack, which is kind of strange. Uh, and then lastly, in November, this is also kind of weird that they have these pin collections towards the end of it. Um, but again, so yes, maybe at release, you know, it's going to be hard to find, but there's going to be so many waves of these things. And, um, you know, I do think it's going to be very not too hard to find Champions Path packs. Uh, at MSRP at some point. So again, TLDR, I don't think it's necessary to overpay for anything. Okay, so I just want to do a quick Patreon plug. We do offer a Patreon, we do have a Patreon page, and if you are a VIP patrons, we're going to be offering breaks for the ETBs for $40 a pop. Once we have them, we're going to start breaking them and, um, you know, limit two per patron per month and going to Pretty sure I can have enough to at least do that for the first few months after that we'll play it by ear so link down below if you're interested and uh, yeah I feel like a lot of people you know what I like to open it myself I come I 100% totally understand that so but uh, all right let's talk about champions path itself so right off the bat better than I was expecting uh, everyone was pretty sure the rainbow rainbow V max is gonna be in there and lo and behold not only is that there but they also have a shiny Charizard V as well so better than I was expected that's a good sign uh, but <laughs> here's one of the really important points champions path does not equal hidden faith 2.0 yeah the exclamation point means not by the way so you know I think it's a complete um, incorrect assumption to say oh well this is going to be just as popular as hidden fates not even close i don't even think these things are in the same league uh champions path had so much other than the charizard to hit and that's why definitely my favorite set to open i love i enjoy hitting any of the shinies even like the non gx ones and then you have tons or a good amount of shiny gx's which are huge hits uh whether it's any evolutions that or the mewtwo or anything like that so Champions Path, absolutely not Hidden Face 2.0. What is Champions Path? Uh, to me, it's kind of like Shining Legends, uh, as if you had a fusion between Shining Legends and Burning Shadows. Uh, Shining Legends because it's kind of like that same price point, uh, same kind of uh, special set. Burning Shadows because, you know, if there's only like one or Champions Path slightly different because there's two of those home run cards and everything else is pretty meh. Like when you think about what else is in the set, what do you got? They Gardevoir, a Dreadnought, Dreadnought, as far as turtles go, Dreadnought's the weirdest, and then you got like, I don't know, Hop, <laughs> guy's so annoying, um, but because there are two Charizard there, we'll, we'll slap in a, a sprinkle of evolutions, you know, one thing I think about evolutions is like, cool, it'd be cool to, to get that reprint Charizard really hard to grade, you also have the reverse, and then you got the full art Mega as well, so, that's why I think Champion's Path is kind of a little bit of all those three different sets. And um, let's go to real quick as far as like, all right, well, how well will these Charizards do? And I do think they will fare just fine. 
All right, so shiny Charizard Hidden Fates doing very well about a year year old still being reprinted and still a TCG player still fetching over $600 per per near mint. So doing very well. How about PSA? <laughs> Look at this. This still baffles me every single time. Like we have this kind of ratio between 10s and 9s but it's still going for, it looks like we topped out about 2,000 and now we're kind of like around 1,500, anywhere from like 12 to 1,600 it seems. So for a card that's only a year old, still being reprinted, I feel he's doing very well. Um, how will Champions Path do? If I had to guess, you know, maybe not quite as good as this one, but the fact that there's two cards to hit, I think it'll be uh, comparable as far as the Champions Path hit main primary hit chase card versus the Hidden Fates. So back to the main point of this story is do not overpay. And the main reason, my main rationale behind this is going is reprints. Pokemon has demonstrated, especially in like based on what I've seen over the past six months to a year, is like they will reprint as needed. Uh, let's see, like actually on the same day of Champions Path, we have more of these tins coming. Hidden Fates tins. What is this? Like reprint. Three, four, five. I have no idea. Um, I don't have a sealed one, but we have a Burning Shadows ETV here. This thing is still being reprinted. Started popping up in stores again. Uh, Shining Legends ETB was available in the Pokemon Center website for a short period of time. And uh, all right, Evolutions is a very strange one. Uh, I think there was some information that suggested Evolutions was no longer in print. As far as booster boxes go and uh, so all right maybe we should buy the booster box before the price goes up and then now evolutions etbs are in stores again they got this kanto power collection coming out and i think in november so like i think reprints are here to stay and again when you know supply cannot meet the demand i feel like reprint is the natural natural course of action for the pokemon company but Turtle, how about that $300 ETB? That is a good point, good question. Like, yes, this is absolutely going for $300. It's very strange. And um, yeah, won't argue that fact, but I will offer just a theory as far as why that why that is happening, or what rather, why wasn't the Hidden Fates ETB reprinted? And as a result, there's a huge, you know, like the demand is still there and therefore the price spiked to $300 for a $50 product. I 100% do not think that's going to happen for Champion's Path. If I had to guess, it's kind of like, or let's throw out the one thing is like when it comes to making a decision to reprint something to when you see it in store, like that's going to be a long process. And I, my guess is that at some point they need to figure out what they're going to print and I'm, I'm envisioning like the meme, you know, the guy that's sweating needs to push a button. It's like, I envision four buttons in front of him. One of them was the Hidden Fates ETB. Hidden Fates 10, so it was the second button. Then you got the Evolutions ETB and Burning Shadow. So all those things we just mentioned that we pretty sure got reprints. Like, and the situation is, you can only pick three. You cannot press all four buttons. You can only pick three of them. And all of them were pressed except for the Hidden Fates ETB. And as far as like, all right, maybe in hindsight, it's like, oh, we should have reprinted this. They would all would have sold. But uh, as far as like when that decision was made, I wonder if like they simply didn't have the foresight or they thought that the E-Tins would satisfy the demand for Hidden Fates. And then we get stuff like this. Uh, I do think Champion's Path is a completely different animal. If we were to rewind a year ago, like, the pre-orders, it was not that hard to get pre-orders for these things, including the Hidden Fates ETBs. Um, what few I still have left were either purchased at 25% off from Game Nerds or even Target.com, where sometimes they had those uh, special things where you spend more than $50, you can, whatever, save $10 or something like that, and that's where I got what little supply I've left of the Hidden Fates ETB. Like, that's where I picked those up. So, like... This time around, it's like very clear right in their face from day zero of pre-orders, not even day zero of release, that there is so much demand for these ETBs. So I feel like the only, I would think that the only conclusion they come to is like, just keep printing it. Who knows? Maybe that these weren't reprinted because the printers were already printing the Champion's Path ETBs. So 
I do think that these things will be available for some time to come and reprints, they're just going to be a regular thing. And one more thing to mention about those ETBs is the special promo. So, you know, it might be, it is a little tricky because like the promo could be worth something. We take a look at the Moltres, the birds, um, the stained glass birds, awesome promo and still doing pretty well. It basically holding like half the value of the box, a little bit more, $30 for a near mint copy of the birds on TCG player. And if you do get it graded and you get a 10, you can, I think this is going for like mid 200s right now, uh, anywhere from 200 to let's say like between two and three hundred dollars. So, you know, definitely there is value in the promo. I just think that the Champions Path ETB will be readily available for a long time. Um, again, uh, for all those reasons that we just mentioned. And there you have it. As always, um, yeah, I'm curious what you all think. Again, you know, the my assumptions are just based on what I see and you know logically all that stuff kind of makes sense to me so I'm curious what how you guys feel let me know in a comment down below and as always guys thanks for watching check out the patreon page if you are interested in those $40 breaks and uh yeah thanks for watching I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time